go, Doctor. And we all know the outcome of that bizarre experiment. If you recall, the Supreme Court ordered the plume be destroyed, and I think that under the conditions it was the humane thing to do. It led to the laws against human farming and set back the course of legitimate research by many years. Mr. Drucker, Mr. Drucker, you gave $100 million to the Weir Clinic. Dr. Weir, is it true that you're trying to get the six-day laws repealed? Dr. Weir is interested in medicine, not politics. Mr. Drucker, the protesters outside claim that you run Repet at a loss in order to soften people up to the idea of human cloning. You know, we shouldn't forget that not so long ago, there were literally almost no more fish left in the ocean, and half the world's population faced a very real threat of hunger. Our cloning technology helped turn that around. The extremists don't like to admit that they'd rather the world went hungry than eat cloned fish, so instead they keep yelling about human cloning. Do you think the human cloning laws should be changed? Suppose a 10-year-old boy lies in a hospital bed dying of liver cancer. Thanks to Dr. Weir's work, we can save that boy. Now in the next bed lies another 10-year-old boy whose parents love him just as much. Only this child has an inoperable brain tumor. And you cannot clone a brain. The only way to save him would be to clone the whole person. Now, how do you tell that boy's parents that we can save the first boy? But the research that would have saved their son, it wasn't done because of a law that was passed by frightened politicians a decade ago. So what about me? What are you going to do? George Parker.